days ago, I had noticed that Efru was not in the picture. She was somebody that I had predicted was going to be, if anyone was to leave, uh, be her leaving. And she's with her granny. At this time, this is what her uncle is saying. Her mother's brother is saying Efru is no longer with the Carbonation girls, Malia, Aya, uh, and Zoka. Now, I had somebody message me. It was only one person. It wasn't a whole bunch of people, but there was something that I noticed for me to just bring this up. Let's not run with rumors that Efru had a fallout with the girls and left. Now, sometime behind rumors or lies, as I call them, aka lies, be the truth. We know that they're human, first and foremost. A lot of the information that does turn out, in fact, to be what it is, comes from supporters, people that these carbonation members confide in, think that they can trust, and they run some of the business that they think that they're going to hold um, secret to, and then it only takes one person for them to tell, and then that person tells somebody else, and then it's out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag, that that is what happened, is the fallout. Now, I'm going to respond to the DM that I got, and I'm going to tell you why I'm taking it here today. Now, to answer the question, I have not a clue why Efru left. We all know the story behind Nature Boy and how he truly feels about Efru and how he doesn't trust her and has not trusted her since um, how I guess he felt that she did baby Ileana when she was around. Uh, so I, I don't know exactly what Efru did to the little one that made Nature Boy hold on to this grudge, but he doesn't treat Efru like he should. Uh, we, we, we know for sure because we see her just less than 24 hours ago do a download from Granny's house um, representing Pushing the Three. Now, the reason why... I want to bring this up because I also saw a video, and I think maybe underneath that video, that little, the comment section and that little uh, comment trail that started with one person saying that I believe Efru got into a fight um, with the girls and she's pushing the three from a distance from a family member's house. Um, we don't know this to be true, and we don't want to go around making it seem as though that's what the situation is. Let's let's just say Efru left and she's sitting with herself and eventually, hopefully, she's going to get also to the point of no return, as in we'll probably stop seeing her even pushing the three. I don't know exactly why Efru left. It could have been something the girl said to Nature Boy and then Nature Boy got triggered the very thing that the devil will use to test you to see if you will go against your own morals and principles to see if you will go against your own truth to have that desires you have to master your desires and you have to know when it got into Efru's stuff and order her to leave this would not be the first and probably not the last time that he would send her somewhere to get him out of his circle for the meantime in between time. But we all know from that pattern of behavior that Efru still returns, even when she sent back. When she was sent back numerous times to Puerto Rico and also when the guys were living in that house, I want to say at the time it was Philly. It could have been somewhere else. Put in the comment section where that was at. He put her there too. She always returned. She never detoured and went back to family. But now because Nature Boy's resources are limited, she may have had to go back to family members until Nature Boy said for her to return. I don't know what the situation is. It's really confusing to all of us because they're only going to tell us what they want us to know and that is exactly what they're doing. That's why a lot of people are running with this narrative that they think. Because that's all you can say is that you think that um, Efru got into it with the girls, which that's a, that's a strong possibility. I used to look at Efru sometime when she used to uh, be watching them talk and she would give some serious facial expressions that sometimes people don't have to say much 
it's written all over their face. But even with that being said, we still cannot run with the narrative. It's coming from a real space that you can keep honor of yourself and keep yourself in truth and it aligns and it doesn't go out of line with your morals and principles and what you believe that's your true that's that's true alignment with your desire see your desire is not going to come easy your desire is going to take you doing work self-work that efru got into a, a fight with the carbonation girls and was ordered to leave by nature boy we can't push that narrative because nature boy is not up here on a recorded line sharing on any of his pages that he put Efru out because it was a fight that broke out and he right now was trying to fight for his freedom and doesn't have time for for all of that we didn't hear any of this so we can't run with that narrative it does look strange this would be the wrong time for nature boy to send her home if he needed all the support that he could get to make himself look good it's bad enough all the carbonation members have already ran off right so it, it certainly doesn't make his case look good. It certainly doesn't make him look like a great person right now with everybody just dropping off like flies. But this is what happens when people start to listen, which is a good thing, to the information that's being put out. And they start to sit with themselves and they start to say, I don't want to go to jail or be accessory to any of this mess that he has recorded over the years that I was present or privy to. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to be his co-defendant. I don't know if he's going to get out. I might end up be the next person that they come to get. You know, people get scared and it, it with good reasons because that is a possibility that some of these people eventually later on down the line could be brought into court in handcuffs and tried, you know, on these court proceedings found guilty and do just as much time as nature boy is looking to do we don't know what the faith the nature boy is but the it's not going to be substantial it's going to be very momentarily and then it's going to be a lesson it's just going to end up showing you a lesson that you know you going against your own self by receiving this that it comes with a sacrifice that is actually killing your soul. What profits a man to gain the world? You, use, you lose its soul. The devil is always going to try to... The way things are looking now, I'm saying looking, we don't know what the facts are. But what is on that indictment, it's not looking good for Nature Boy. It's really not. And and to be honest with you, it's, it's not a thing of even talking about what Efru's doing. She may have left because Nature Boy did send her home. But that is a blessing. She may have left because she went home because she thought it was the right thing to do. That's still a blessing because that is what we needed to happen anyways is that separation so that they can eventually get it and go on about their business while they have still a chance and stop incriminating themselves by getting up here on social media talking about what they don't know and how this can hurt them in the future going forth. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I made that clear that we can't run with that notion or that narrative that something happened. Something could have happened. We know that these girls fight one another over there because Nature Boy has put them against each other for years. Okay? We saw these people fighting on beaches. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that came out that last 90 days, I believe, when Nature Boy um, eventually got picked up by the SWAT. I think that it was enough was enough, even from a distance, the people that were watching him. And that's why they had to take him in. So there could be a lot of reasons why Efru left. Only way that we'll know is if it comes out of Efru's mouth. And I think that's the only thing we should go with. And I honestly think that if Efru was to turn that way and tell us why she got put out or left, that would be a sign that she was getting it in her head that it's time for her to, to to leave this situation alone but i don't think that it's in efru's head to leave this situation alone that's why you keep hearing her talking about the knowledge and doing these downloads she's not speaking about why she left um you see how what last week she broke her neck to get on live so that she could make it seem like she was still over there with the girls and her mother pulled up on her and gave her some money
So there's a lot of things that they're going to hide. They're going to continue to hide. Um, they should at this point because not hiding things is why Nature Boy's in jail now. So right now, it's bad enough they're talking too much up here doing these downloads. But um, yeah, I, I honestly don't believe that it was any beef between the girls uh, why she left. It could be a numerous... A number of reasons uh, why she left. Numerous reasons why she left. It could be because there's no money to have all those people living underneath one roof. Process of elimination, it would make a lot of sense that Nature Boy would get rid of her before of you know, any of the other ones. I definitely wouldn't want to get rid of Zoka with all the allegations about baby love. I definitely wouldn't want to get rid of Malia. I'm just saying if I was in nature boy's mind because you know if i get out she's the one i'm really attracted to at this present time and then I'm, i don't want to get rid of aya because she cooks malia can't cook zoka's can't cook but aya can cook so they all serve purposes i really honestly don't think Efro ever served any purposes and i think that he was transparent and always cleared about clear about that back when he was free